Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that was very satisfying to mix those lentils together. Hello, my name is Indeep and welcome back to my channel where I teach you how to make easy Indian food. Today, we're gonna be making another Instant Pot recipe. It's another dump and go recipe. Um, super easy, very simple, and I hope you'll give it a try. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make the Kali Dal or a mixed lentil soup. This is really hearty. It's full of protein um, and very, very tasty. It's, uh, you can make it vegan and um, you can kind of throw in whatever lentils you have. To make it easier, I like to mix all the lentils together at once and then just stick them in a container so that they're ready to go whenever I need them. So this is a really popular dish in Northern India and Punjab. And it's a really good way to start off if you're just learning to make Indian food. All the ingredients that you see going in here, um, you can definitely grind them instead of chopping them just to make it easier for yourself um, before adding them in. So to make this recipe vegan, you can add oil instead of ghee. I added some onions, tomatoes, ginger, garlic, and I also like to add tomato paste, as you know, so I'll be adding a little bit of that. And all of the ingredients and their amounts will be listed down below in the description box. Now I'm gonna be adding all the spices in. I start with just a pinch of caraway seeds and cumin seeds, a little bit of red chili powder, which you can add more or less of according to your taste, some garam masala, some salt, and turmeric. So I use pink Himalayan salt, so the quantities for salt, if you're gonna be using a different kind of salt, may be different, and also you wanna add salt according to your own taste as well. It's always good to put a little bit less than you think you'll need, so that way you can always add more. It's harder to fix something if it has too much of salt or pepper or chili powder. All right, we're gonna just give it a quick stir. I added lentils in there. Um, so the lentils, uh, sometimes I soak them, sometimes I don't. If I'm gonna be using the Instant Pot, usually I don't really worry too much about soaking them. Um, but if you want to, you can soak them for about half an hour. Um, and I think that's what I did, is 20, 20 to 30 minutes of soaking for the lentils after I washed them um, while I was chopping up and prepping all the ingredients. Make sure you give everything a good stir before closing the lid. So there are some pre-packaged mixed lentils you can buy at the regular grocery store. You can even go get all the different packaged lentils from the Indian store if you like. Um, so here we are setting the Instant Pot to the ceiling position and uh, putting the pressure cook option on for about 20 minutes. If you soak them for longer than about half an hour, you might want to just um, set the Instant Pot for about 15 minutes. Okay, let's take a look at what our dal looks like. So you can see all the tomatoes kind of floated up to the top. Give this a good mix and uh, make sure that the lentils are soft and fully cooked. And when I give it a stir, you can kind of see how soft those are. And I like to see the chunks of tomato and onion in there, but if you don't, you can always grind those up like I mentioned before and you won't see those. This smells so good right now. Um, this is one of my favorite things to eat and usually I like to eat it with rice, but you can have it with roti, um, you can have it with quinoa if you like, so lots of protein in there if you have it with quinoa especially. And there we go, our mixed dal or kali dal recipe is done. As you can see it was really simple and easy to make. I hope you give it a try and please don't forget to comment and let me know. Um, you know whether you liked it or what else what else you would like to see me make don't forget to like comment share and subscribe